Yeah, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? Friday. I hope y'all got paid today. You know what I'm saying? Some of us got paid today. I got I, I got paid today, but it's still not a still not a good Friday for me, man. Not a good Friday. Last night I was hemmed up. This morning I was hemmed up. But still I am here to bring you guys these good interviews. Well, welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. What's going on? What's going on? And today's uh, podcast is going to be about a podcast interview. I found this young lady on Facebook, but now she's not a trucker. She's not a trucker. But she had an interesting video that I want to play for you guys Right now, let me see if I can uh, if I can bring it up, and I can I can play a little bit of it, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. That watches any and every. There we go. Press record. I have a one and a half year old son that watches any and everything on TV. Now, I know in the past, I've seen these things where it says, hey, if you're watching YouTube or if you're watching so-and-so-and-so, make sure that you watch the full video entirely through because there are demons and there are all these other things and brainwashing and mind-washing things going on that your kids should not know about. But what? Yes, I'm going to say this. What in the full fucks is this? That's a very good question that we will try to ask or answer. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Huh? Jaywalking, stop right there. What? Stop right there. Stop. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. No, 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 no. Get down. Get down right now. Get down on the ground. You are such an arrest. You are such an arrest. No, cooperate. Cooperate. You don't you know jaywalking is against the law. It's a federal offense. What are you doing? What are you Don't you move. Don't you judge me. Don't you judge me. I'm not going to play the rest of that because it's <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But that right there, I when I when I saw this and this young lady talking about that particular video, I am a fan of animation. I, I really am. And there's, you know, I, I I'm I'm cool on a lot of animation portraying uh uh, stuff that's going on in the real world, okay? But animation like that, where, you know, in her case, a one-year-old or a two-year-old or a five-year-old kid could see that, I, I tend to look at that like, no, uh-uh. And as a grown-up, I'm still looking at that like, no. You know what I'm saying? Because you're using a kid, you know, as 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 the narrative. And I, you know, maybe if it was a grown up or something like that, you know, maybe an old, you know, like an old man or something like that. But no, you're using a kid as the narrative. And like I said, I I I didn't. I, I didn't feel that at all. So I reached out to this young lady to come on the come on to the show and uh to get her feelings on it. So let's do that. Let's bring in B Janice to the show. Hello. How you doing today, ma'am? I'm fine. How are you? I'm 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 good. I'm I'm good. You know, I uh tried uh 
it's trucking. <laughs> That's all I can say. It, it, it's 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 all about <laughs> trucking, you know. Last night there was a there was a fatal accident on uh, on I sixty five. Uh, hey, he want to be on too. <laughs> I see that. Say hello, Jada. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so it was an accident, a uh, fatal accident on uh, I-65, and uh, which pretty much, you know, canceled out all of my hours last night. And then this morning, I get I get hemmed up at a at a shipper uh, or a receiver. It's, it was just crazy. But enough about me. What about you? How how are you? Uh, let let uh, let my viewers know who you are and uh, uh, where you come from. Okay, well, uh, my name is Dee Denise. I'm from Florida, uh, home right now because of the pandemic going on with my son, which is hurting the background, Jaden. Um, single mother, uh, just trying to do what I can to stay happy, stay positive, and protect my little one. All right, all right, all right. So you from uh you from Florida? What's 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 uh I'm from what's what's life like down down in Florida as a single mom? You, was you oh. was you was you born was you born and raised down there or was you uh or was you uh or, what, or did you move down there? I was born in Georgia. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, but I was raised here, so I call it my hometown. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So let me get. You say you was born in Georgia, so let me let me give you that Georgia uh, that Georgia swing. Georgia. <laughs> Hey. Yes, yes, yes. I I said when majority of my people who I talk to, majority majority of the people who I talk to, I had to get a uh, I had to get a uh, Georgia swing for for them. So there you go. There's there's your Georgia swing. But you was uh you you was uh raised down in Florida. So what was life like for you down down in Florida? Um, middle class raising up family, um, hot all the time. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jaden. Just nah. in a happy mode right now. No, nah, you good. You good. Um, but I, 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 oh, oh, oh. I'm grateful for you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, um, being ra being raised, uh, like I stated, middle class family, um, hold, interracial. Hold, uh, hold hold that thought right quick. All right, <laughs> all right, uh, Janice, check it out. I just got I, I just got a uh, word from my fleet manager that he wants me to go ahead and pick up this load right quick. Uh, it is okay. going on three o'clock, so I got to be there four-ish. So I tell you what, as soon as I go there, pick it up and all like that, I will probably have a better, better internet connection uh, where I'm at, uh, where okay. I will probably be at. But we're going to postpone this and get back together later on this evening. Cool? Cool. All right. Hello. Three hours later. Hello. Oh, yeah, we're back, man. We're back. <laughs> We're back. We're good. Okay. Yeah, we're we're back. We're at a we're at a different place. Still, still jumped up internet, but we can we can still work with it. You know what I'm saying? But we're we're back, <laughs> and um, about to get right back. Perfect. At. Where's uh where's where's the little one? Where where is he at? Little one's right here, running around. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. that's that's what's up. That's what's up. Eating a uh, cookie. If oh no, nah, don't don't get them started, man. Don't don't get them started on uh, don't get them started <laughs> on sweets. See, that's what happened to me, and that's why my grill. <laughs> that's why my grill is so messed up, man. My mom's. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You you hear me, right? I know, right? My mom's gave me my sweets, no. and and my and my teeth is all jacked up right now, man. Uh, wow. it's, it's, not, it's, it's the oatmeal ice cookie. It's it's not it's not uh it's not jacked up trucker's teeth though. It's not that. No, 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 no. 
let, let me clarify on jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> it is not it's not jacked up trucker's teeth. Nah. I still got I got majority of them. I just got a couple of them that's in the back that was pulled out. That's all. That's all. But that you, happens over time. I got one pulled out. I don't think it was for candy though. Okay, so you say so you say you don't you 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 got all your teeth except for one? Yeah, well, one and then two of my wisdom teeth teeth are gone. Oh well, the wisdom teeth that's a that's a given. That's a given, right there. Given, yeah. So I still got two wisdom teeth, and then I got I have one that's not a wisdom tooth that's gone. Yeah, you 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 get a pass on on the wisdom. You, you you get a pass on that because the wisdom, the wisdom teeth is a gift. All right. You know they supposed to they supposed to take that they supposed to take that out of your mouth anyway. You know what I'm saying? Well, not yeah. not anyway per se. I guess not anyway. But yeah, it's it's supposed to be like like taken out of your mouth and everything. So all right, all right. So we're back at it. Uh, we're back at it. So I guess I can ask you the question of, I guess I can ask you, hold on right quick. I guess I can ask you the question where we, where we left off at. Uh, I think I asked you where, how, how was life like growing up in, uh, in Florida? Now you said, now hold on right quick. Let me, let me go back to my, let me go back to my thing now. Hold on. Now you said, you said you were from, you're from Georgia, right? Georgia. Yeah, I was born in Georgia. Hey, there we go. Georgia. Yeah. So you say you Georgia. So you so you was born in Georgia. Uh did you did you and your family move mm -hmm. to Florida or or was it just you that moved to Florida? How did how did how did the migration work? No, it was my family. Um I like I said, I was born there, but I've been in Florida since I was like three. Oh. Went off to school and came back. Oh, so. Okay, okay, okay. So now you can. So now you back. You you back at Florida. Uh, you chilling and all like that. So what do you what do you do? Uh, I mean, of course you're not a truck driver like myself, but uh, but what do you what do you do though? And how? Let me ask you this: What do you do in house? I'm in the mortgage. Oh, okay. How's ha how has COVID season affected you? Oh, goodness. I think it affected a lot of people. Um, I'm in the mortgage insurance company, things like that. So I work with I work at a bank for the mortgage side, but in the mortgage side, I work for insurance. So anything that happens to anybody's home, whether it's weather-related, accident-related, anything like that, then um, I'm a liaison between our clients and the insurance company. Oh, okay. Uh, um, okay. So you're the, so you're the person, so, you know, when something happens to my house, you're the person I call and talk to and get the ball rolling. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Once you get the insurance check from the, from uh, the insurance company, then you're going with me up. Okay. 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 So, from the so from the insurance, uh, how, how has how has so you're now working from home, right? I am working from home. Finally, they they got us working from home. Um. So yeah, I've been working from home for a couple months now. So are you are y'all going to go back uh, to the office, or they they haven't made a decision on that yet? We are going back into the office, but they have not told us when. Um, so, yeah, I guess they made the decision, but not technically. Okay. We will be back, though. Okay, okay. They have told us that we're coming back soon. Okay. So, single mom down in Florida, you down there, where where all the attractions is at? Because, you know, I'm... Uh, I was, you know, for my son's uh, graduation or... You know, he finally came out of college this year. We was going to make a plan to come down to Florida oh. and and you know go to Universal and 
probably over the Magic Kingdom and all that good stuff. But unfortunately, like I said, COVID season just yeah. shut it all that down. And as COVID. a matter of fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, uh, Disney, I think in California, has shut the doors completely because of uh, COVID season down there. So. Oh. And since COVID season oh, came, wow. yeah, yeah. Since COVID season came in and just messed up everybody, how how has Florida uh how has Florida for you uh have you seen any like differences? Uh any the attractions that started to open back up? Has there been any 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 differences as far as uh tourists coming down there or, or what? Oh, yeah, things can go down. No tours. The attractions are just now starting to open up. I really haven't done much. Uh, the most I do maybe when Dippy, Walmart, CVS, but even then, I'm online shopping for groceries at ship.com and all kinds of places like that. Jane and I really pay an impact. Um, so everything that we see or we know is really given to us through the news. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you something. Are you talking? Are you right talking? Now. Are you talking through me through a headphones, or are you talking to me through your phone? I'm talking to you through my actual phone, but I am downstairs in Jaden's playroom. Do you hear an echo? Uh, you're. It's like when you talk, it it breaks up a little bit. That's all. It's like when you start to talk. Is it, that better? Yeah. Yeah. Where Where you move to? You must move somewhere. Where did you go? Yeah, Jaden's room is down. He's got a playroom downstairs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I just came up into the kitchen. So your son, one years old. Sorry how, about that. Is that your is that your first is that your first child? Yeah, that's my baby. He's number one. So you're a brand new mommy. How's that feel? Brand new mommy. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I love it. Um, I'm not going to tell the story, you know, with COVID being here and putting me back in the house, get to spend more time with him, especially because daycares are going. So all I know really is my son. It's been going on since March and he's only one years old. So after maternity leave, I was in the office for a couple of months and then had to come back home to work from home. So it's been awesome being able to be around him because a lot of people don't get the opportunity to be around their kids all this time mm-hmm. um you know there's daycare there's work and all that and i get to you know stay with Jaden a lot so i'm loving that but um so we've been learning each other a lot <laughs> right. um it's a lot of learning to do on my end and a lot of teaching to do on my end but um it, it, it's been fun I mean, i'm i'm so far it's so good he gets into his moment but when he's you know Loud, <laughs> but yes, yes, other than that, it's just awesome. Is he love is being he, a mom? Is is he sleeping through the night or 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 no? You you still you still haven't experienced any sleepless nights yet? I've never had that happen. You know, that's one of the questions a lot of people ask. Like, has he started sleeping through the night? But I've ever since like, he's been here, he has always slept through the night. I have never had a wake up in the middle of the night type moment. He's been on clockwork, nine thirty, ten o'clock. I know it's late, but nine thirty, ten o'clock, he is out for count and he is asleep until about eight o'clock, nine o'clock that next morning. How you gonna how how you gonna um you know, when COVID season kinda la- you know, lights up and you do go back to work into the office, uh how you gonna how you gonna handle that as far as you know getting your kid back to daycare does that does that have a uh a sense of scare it. well is there a sense of fear of, yes. of him you know going back to daycare and all like that yes goodness i'm gonna hate it i'm not ready <laughs> i'm not ready you say you're not ready. Oh. You say you're not ready yet. Um, I'm not ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Okay. That's what's up. That's no. What's up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I like spending time with baby boy. Um. But I know he needs it. He needs to be around kids. He needs to be around 
other people. He needs to get his social skills up and running. And, you know, there's just things that I can't teach him, even though I am a parent, that he has to run on his own. His own. One of those things being, you know, right, right, society, right. social. So he, he needs it. You know, I got to let him go a little bit. His, uh, his, uh, is well you you mentioned earlier uh before when we was together and then I had to leave and now we're back you mentioned earlier that you are a single uh a single parent but is the father still in the picture mm-hmm. yes he is um I actually talked to him earlier today uh he's really active in his life uh we we're really good at the co-parenting thing um he comes by and he sees him he lives in he lives in the same city um he comes by and he sees them at least three four times a week plays with them we go hang out um and really we're really really close now that we're not in a relationship it, and it's funny so like, it works it, out it's, pretty good it's it's funny like that you know it's kind of crazy but that was my next question like the the child is one years old so of course you you know you got pregnant nine months ago uh, what, mm, what? A year and nine months ago. Oh, okay. All right. A year and nine months ago. Uh, yeah, he's almost two. Oh, okay. 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 So what, what tour are you guys apart? If I may ask you, you, if, if it's too hard to talk about, you don't have to talk about it. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I blame it on this, and I'm sorry, truckers and everybody else, but, you know, the military is the military, and he was a Navy man. So uh, most Navy men or military men have that whole, you know, rep- what is it? Um, I can't even think right now, but they yeah. got that reputation, and he yeah. just kind of fell into that reputation. Oh, okay. uh, so <laughs> we didn't make it. Oh, uh, so, yeah. You but know, like I said, we're good now. My sister, uh, my my sister was married to a, a military man. He was a Marine. Uh, they had a mm. they had a baby. <laughs> they had they had my little nephew, Kevin. <laughs> uh, you know, he uh, he went mm-hmm. off to the service. Uh, my mom's, you know, gave uh, the permissions for them to get married so that, you know, when Kevin went off to the service, they can both be on his on his uh uh insurance or his health insurance and stuff like that Mm -hmm. uh they you know they went down to virginia they was down there for a while but you know it's you know the the relationship kind of kind of turned and um i mean me not getting into her business or anything like that you know as as a big brother i just wanted to make sure she was all right i mean she did get into some precarious situations with her with her ex-husband but uh but yeah he was a military man and and yeah now as far as us truckers go you know i got uh you know i was i was (laughs) i was i i I, you know married 25 years plus and um and this is before i got into trucking unfortunately me and my uh estranged wife uh went through our thing and uh and yeah we we separated we've been separated for like seven years now seven but we're we're good friends though believe it or not like yeah. literally like yeah, literally. I, mean, I don't know how that happened <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like i'm like i don't understand like you know if it's, it's like it's like she's a buddy now. Like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, we when we yeah. was married, we had our issues. <laughs> we had our issues and everything. But now, you know, but now we're 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 not together. We're like buddies and shit. Like, yo, bro, what's going on? What's up, sis? Yeah. Like, like, what's up? Yeah. yeah like, what it's the- awesome. I love it. I, I love it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, all right, yeah, Jimmy. Like so me and his father were mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. Oh no, go ahead, go ahead. You and the father was like what? Yeah, me. We were we had known each other for like almost thirteen years before we decided to get engaged and have Jaden. And you know, then he went off to the military, did his thing or whatever, and everything happened. And we're back to where we were when we first. When we first met each other, it's like it's just amazing. 
I wouldn't trade him for anything in the world. I don't know. I think maybe it's just, you know, the distance between it when you have things like airplane or um, pilots and, and, and I'm going to assume truckers and military. You know, I guess it's a distance that a lot of people can't handle or feel like they have a lot of freedom. So maybe that's it, you know. But, yeah, we're cool. I love it. All right. So, my, but, okay, so Janice. That be, am I pronouncing it right, Janice? Mm-hmm. Okay. What would be? Yeah. What would be? Okay. Yeah. Now you said you guys was together for what thirteen years before y'all y'all had on Jamie? and off, on okay. and off. Okay. So uh, yeah. What, what would be some? What, what would be some advice? All right. So you were was you married to this man or you was engaged to this man or both? No, we were engaged. We were never married. We were engaged. All so, right. so what would be what would be what would be some advice that you would give somebody your age that was in your that was in your situation relationship wise? As far as as far as you as far as like you you see you seen what happened while y'all two not together, right? Yeah. So what would be the advice that you would give to a person, uh, you know, to a person that was in your similar situation to stay together? To stay together? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, to stay together. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Dana. Um, I would say, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm the best person to give advice because I didn't make it. But looking back on life, um, <laughs> looking back on life, if I could tell myself something to make sure that me and his dad stay together, I would say really, and I know this is going to sound like generic, but really communicate. And I mean like that best friend, tell him or her any and everything communicate because the smallest little thing can set somebody off or make them go and look for something somewhere else. And it starts, it starts before physical cheating. It starts with getting close to people or, or, or having the, the gap in your relationship be filled by someone else, whether it's talking, whether it's laughing, whether it's the stuff that you don't want to hear, that the jokes you don't want them to tell or anything like that. Somebody somewhere is going to fill that gap and he's going to, or she's going to get that information or give that information to somebody else. And that's where it starts. And once you have holes like that, it's simple for them to go far out beyond and do what they do. And then that ends relationships. So as crazy and as corny as it sounds, I would definitely say that communication and not the therapy communication that you just, you know, oh, I talked to him. I asked him how his day is. Like that legit best friend, whatever happens, whatever you want to hear, whatever I have to tell you, you sit there and you take it. And then, you know, y'all hash it out later type stuff going on because, that that's what that's where we fail and i think that's why now we can be best friends because now that i don't have to deal with that anymore you know we can talk about any and everything and then at the end of the day he can go out and he can do him and i don't even have to worry about it so i that that would be my advice now let me ask you now let me ask you this uh because i guess i i guess you guys sort of went to the wayside because of cheating i take it right yeah well, that's yeah. yeah probably, I, I say that will probably be ninety nine point nine percent of relationship issues would be because of cheating, right? Yeah. Would you Would you agree with me? Yeah, that and support. I didn't have a lot of support. I do. I agree with you. Okay, so I <laughs> fell into that. Okay, I. I I fell into that. I, mm-hmm. you know, the, 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 the conversation wasn't there. The uh, interactions wasn't there no more. Well, not, it was still there, but it was like laxed. Um, I, I guess you could mm-hmm. say, I guess you could say I went outside my marriage to find what I wasn't getting. Okay. Um, I did, uh, I, 
I, I, you know, it sounds cliche, but I did the man thing, you know. I, I but I admitted though. I, I admitted that I was wrong, and what I should have did. And the same thing, you know, we we talked maybe about a week ago or two weeks ago. Well, was it a month ago? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how long ago we talked, but we just talked. And she was like, look, I know your ass. I, I, and she said it like this. I know your black ass was cheating. What I should have did was put your ass in your place. And I, and I, and I looked at yeah. her and I said, you know what? Maybe if you did then I guess we would have, you know, we would have tightened our relationship. You know, if you would have came out and just said, yeah, yeah, you know, bro, I caught you cheating. You know, give me the ultimatum, you know, either either I I continue and 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 you leave or I stop and we'll try and make it work. You know what I'm saying? Communications is always the key to a good relationship. And I just felt that since we didn't have it back then, you know what I'm saying? Since we didn't have that relationship, I mean, that, that communication back then, that was kind of tore us a little bit apart. And then at the very end, at the very end of it, when I wanted to come back, when I wanted to come back, she, she didn't want to come back and that's when it mm -hmm. just it just went to the wayside so communications is the key especially if you if you're a woman and you get the sense that your dude is cheating for whatever reason i hate to say this fellas but i'm with the woman on this go with your gut if your gut tells you that this man is cheating then nine times out of ten, he is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and bring it to him. Bring it to the forefront. Don't let it go on. Don't let it go on. Don't let it go on. And for the guys, like if you want to make sure that your relationship is still tight, treat your woman like how you was treating her when you got her. Like you went through hoops yeah. to get to, to get this woman. You you took her out. You rubbed her feet. You gave her bevel baths. <laughs> Wine, you dying. Wine, you dying. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And and the love making back then was great. So all the all the all the stuff that I got that I learned now is what I'm gonna give you guys because I don't want it, I don't want it to happen to you guys. Like I said, I was 25 years deep and towards no. the end, towards the end, you know, our our attention span kind of got lax and then her attention, her attention, you know, went to another guy. My attention went to other women and all like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So don't, don't let it happen. I mean, if the, if the attention span lacks, pull her to the side and say, Hey, you know what? We, we have Yeah. Yeah. We haven't talked. We haven't said nothing. We haven't, Yo, we the fuck we need. Yo, let's go out. Let's go out right now. Oh, I'm I'm too tired. No, no, no. Get some clothes right. on, and let's go. No, let's do it. Right? Yeah. Am I right? Am, uh -huh. I, am I right? So, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I completely agree. That's some good ass therapy right there. We should have a therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> Lock out me and enjoy. Hey. That's what's up. Man. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, man. We uh we we me and her we came together uh because of this video. I already play already played the video, but I I'm I'm about to go back and uh and and play not from when you start to talk. Uh let me see right here. I I'll, I'll put it right here. I'm going to play this video and then me and Janice we are going to uh talk about this uh this video. Here we go.
YouTube or if you're watching so and so and so, make sure that you watch the full video entirely through because there are demons and there are all these other things and brainwashing and mind washing things going on that your kids should not know about. But what? Yes, I'm finna say this. What in the full fucks is this? Your expression is priceless. So I'm about to stop it right there. Uh, Janice, man, where where did you find this animation at? Where 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 did you find this animation? I believe the original place that I found it was on actually Facebook. Um, was one of the original place the, the original place I found it. I was cleaning up my house, which I'm doing right now <laughs> i was cleaning up my house getting some toys off of it my son was in his pack and play and i was looking for something for him to watch looking for something for us to watch so i was flipping through flipping through and i saw this cute little boy it was cartoon and i was like this looks different this looks fun so i clicked on it to check it out and boom there it was uh done me for a couple of seconds I actually had to stop it because I was feeling some kind of way and my son was glued to the TV. So I stopped it and then I went and I tried to find it. When I found it originally, um, not originally, but when I found it again, I found it on YouTube. So um, once I found it on YouTube, I was just like, I got to get this out here. I got I to gotta tell people about this. this is ridiculous. I saw the whole thing. I broke down crying. And I was just like, this is, this is horrible. And boom, there's the video. You know, I, I as I said before, I am a fan of uh, animation, and I understand that you know maybe yeah. the, maybe the you know the creators that you know try to maybe uh, get this uh, social out. You know what I'm saying? This this social thing out with with the with the social yeah. injustice and stuff like that. But in my opinion. I just think they went the wrong way because for you guys that's in the LOM community, yeah. you know, for you guys, this was a kid that two grown cops was manhandling. You know what I'm saying? And they they, they try to make it like, you know, try to make it kind of funny. Like, you know, he was jaywalking and all like that. Then they, they grabbed a little boy. He was a little black boy. They grabbed him in a chokehold and, you know, does all of the, you know, does all of the cliches that that cops do. You know, he got a gun and shooting and all like that. I just think that if it was maybe portrayed as a as a grown guy, I guess, as a grown as as a grown instead of a little instead of a little kid that looks like a damn baby. Maybe that would have that would have worked, and maybe it's trying to get some type of point across or something like that. But again, like I said, when I when I I guess when I saw the video, I I I literally was offended by it. I mean, um, believe it or not, I mean, you know, like I said, animations like that don't bother me because I see animations like that all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, it's everywhere. You can't help but see third things. Right. But but like I said, I I wow. Like I said, when I seen the video and I saw your expression, I, I just had to get you on to 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 get how you actually felt about uh about that. 
Um, after after seeing the video, um, let's say if you're you know if your son hadn't seen it and you would have saw it, would your would your attitude towards it would have been different? No, I don't think it would have. I think that either way, whether my son saw a, a snippet of it or um, I saw it by myself, it, it just, it hurt. And um, it, it cut too close to home for too many different people, people on too many different sides. So um, I don't know if I stated this before going through my best year. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, baby boy. You're welcome. <laughs> you saying thank you. Um, I goodness, sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, I don't know if I had told you before, but I'm I'm interracial. Uh, so I have family of multiple races um, within me that I talk to and love. I also have family members that are police officers. I have a little boy. Um, so it just I can I can see it from a lot of different perspectives and points of view and whether my son was was watching it with me or not just any way that you look at this video it, it just it hurts everybody no. every point of view you put on any shoe in that video no. and it's it's hurtful and it just should not have existed if they were trying to do this for satire or for you know acknowledgement or which I did the research on it and I can tell you about that too but mm -hmm. I just, I just think that there's a lot of different ways that you can get information across, especially around the time that I actually took the video. Some of the little things that the little boy said, granted it was made a long time ago, but the resurfacing of it is an enactment of Mr. Floyd. And who wants to see their child in cartoon form? His mother, if he, she ever got a hold of this around that time, that's just hurtful. Exactly. You know, and, saying, I mean, he was and then that he couldn't breathe. He said he wasn't. He couldn't breathe. Right. He, he screamed out for his mother. Home. He screamed out for you his know, mother. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And then you're right. Nobody, and then you kill, like nobody wants to see their son. He, I just, I just think it could have been done. There's, and then there's, there's just ways that you can do things. I know everybody has the freedoms that you have, but if you're trying to make a point and you're trying to get a point across, then there's just different avenues you should take. You should not put a child, a, a, a you know, a young baby like as, my son's age as, as, the a, narrative. as a shot. And then, right. And then, you know, just have all of this happening. It just, it was the wrong time for it to resurface. It should not, I don't think it should have been made in general. And no, I don't think that whether my son got the, the, the snippet that he did or somebody five, six, seven, that is old enough to actually understand this oh my goodness if my son was able to understand what was going on I'm a new parent I don't even know if I would have the ability to come and talk to him and tell him what's going on you know that's something they're taking things out of the hands of parents and putting it out in the world where everybody can see it that's conversations that you know parents should have with their children when they're ready not oh well it's happening out in the world so you know get your kid prepared and this is what that's doing no you know, my son is one, a two-year-old, a five-year-old, or someone that can understand that kind of stuff. I, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like it's the parent's responsibility for specific things, and it shouldn't be put out there in the world like that. Well, you know, situ you know, twenty twenty has been has been real, a real tumultuous year. Crazy. I mean, it's I mean, it's it's just been bad. Yeah. It's been bad for law enforcement. It's been black. It's uh. It's been bad for black yeah. people. It's been bad. It's been bad for politics. Yeah. Actually, it's been bad for us truckers. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because of what everything's going on. Yeah. How how do how and you and, and you being that you can see that you can see all sides of it. How can we make it right? If only I knew the answer to that. I mean, even in the video, I told you, and I've, I've been kind of put on blast for it, but it's still how I feel. 
Yeah. I'm not into the protesting. I mean, some people do the protesting thing, which, yay, great. My sister's a protester, and I love her for it, and I support it. It's just not something that I can do, not as a mother, not as someone, a first-time mother with a one-year-old. You know, I protect my son. I can't be out there like that. There's too many possibilities and too many outcomes that I just can't see. But, you know, I, 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 couldn't, even, I couldn't even explain or, or begin to tell you what you can or can't do. I mean, any and everything is is is... is, is helping or I guess a way to do something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know no. how we can fix this. Just be better people. Be, be more mindful. I just be I couldn't people. tell you how we go about fixing it. Be good people, man. That's what's up. Be good people. Yeah. It's just unfortunate. It, you know, I, I guess we just you know, as as for me, you know, because like I said, we could be a proponent of of every situation that's going on. I mean, like I said, I got friends in, in the military. I got friends in the police. I got, you know, mm-hmm. I, I, I I see it, right. from, you know, I see it from the blacks. I see it from the whites. And this animation right here, you know, like I said, we, I, I don't, I, I just think that it was done wrong. I mean, I understand you trying yeah. to, you know, you, 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 if you wanted a if you wanted to rise out of somebody, you you got it. You got it. I I I unfortunately I, right. I, I unfortunately don't have the answers for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't have it. Yeah. You know, but I, I don't like the video. You know what I'm saying? I don't like the video of mm-hmm. you know of, of the little kid, you know, being manhandled by two, you know, brute cops and then being shot at the end, at the end of it. You know, I, uh, Horrible. so you said you did your research on it. Um, what, what else was you able to find mm-hmm. on it? Well, and I mean, again, it doesn't have anything to do with race or anything like that. But when I went back and I did my research, I found out that again, it had, it, this was not the first time that this has been out there. It was actually created a couple of years ago. When um, things started to originally surface with um, a specific genre of cops and how they were treating a specific genre of person, or I mean, heck, we've been talking like this, I guess truckers are just that awesome, I can go ahead and say it, how bad police officers are treating black people uh, all over the world. Uh, so they, the, the black guy actually made the video to um, make it a satire to try to tell us or get us to... Um, Yes, baby boy, shoe. Thank you. Um, to get us to uh, be aware of what could happen in the future. Uh, but even at that time when all of this stuff was going on, you could flip on the news and find out and, and see what's going on. I don't need this in cartoon form to tell me what I can flip on and see outside my doors or on the news or in the next city or 50 miles away. You know, um, either way, I found that information out. Um, the fact that it's made by a black guy, I just, that kind of hurts me a lot too. So it's like, you should already know that we don't need this. Um, but I did also find out that it did resurface. Like I told you, I saw it on Facebook and then I refound it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, around the time it was done around the time that George Floyd's, um, situation had occurred. And, uh, like I stated, it's, a, it's an exact reenactment. So whomever put it back out into the world to see knew what they were doing when they put it back out into the world. You know, like, it's like, oh, duh, this is what happened. This is what this guy is trying, was, was saying. And, you know, now it's actually happened. Like, it's legit actually happened. It's, it's like a remake of what it is. You know, it should not be in the world right now. This should have been kept back where it was years ago hidden and not brought up especially at that particular time um there's been lots of comments and posts Uh hello yeah you with me oh yeah 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 no i no you you go ahead i I wasn't going to say nothing i was listening yeah i was listening you was talking about the comments (laughs) Yeah, so the comments, you know, I get a lot of, you know, support, especially, like, from people like you that are just like, you know, this is just not where it's at, and this is horrible to have happened. But then um, a lot of the other comments are just, you know, really harsh and, and 
you know, know, just really not not nice words. It's unfortunate that Facebook, you know, Facebook and YouTube, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You you got people that don't know that don't know us that you know that don't know us and you know maybe they 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 cowboy keyboard you know what i'm saying you know they they sitting somewhere in their mama's mm-hmm. basement you know what i'm saying they they sitting somewhere in their mama's basement not the mama's and, basement yeah the mama's basement hold on right quick the mama's, <laughs> yes the mama's basement hold on hold on the basement. all right here we go hold on there we go. And I got to hit that. Yeah, the mama's basement. That's what's up. You know, the mama's basement. That's where they at. You know, sitting down there, uh, you know, coming on, trolling. Don't have nothing better to do. You know, COVID season got they monkey ass in the house and. And you know they don't they can't go outside with their with their like minded friends, so you know they they troll the internet for you know like people like myself or or you to see what you you know talking about and all like that and then come in and and just you know try to you know throw you off your vibe man but don't 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 let don't don't let that mess with your energy though you know what I'm saying. Don't let that mess with your energy, man, mm-hmm. because that's that's something that's, you know, that is something to your heart, you know, that the the animation, yeah. it, just like you said, and I agree with you, shouldn't have, should, if it was made back in the day, yeah, maybe, but now with all this craziness going on right now, it it, it shouldn't have been made. But let me ask you this, though. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm on... I'm on both sides of the fence. I'm, I I can see it from the police mm-hmm. point of now. Look, y'all, I'm sorry. What I'm about to say may you guys might not like it, so I'm just gonna let you guys know on the beforehand. But on the side of the cop, you know what I'm saying? Because I always say that cops is not wired right. They never are. You know, you become a cop, mm-hmm. and you know you start seeing things as a cop. You know, you start seeing death. You start seeing bullets coming at you for no reason. You start dealing with with different yeah. types of people and all like that. That's that, that's gonna that's you know that's gonna mess with the wiring in your head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I I mm-hmm. see you know you I, I I can see what a cop goes goes through, but I can also see what 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 the man and I'm not gonna. Sp- specify any color i'm going to see what the man goes through but see Mm -hmm. i was in a conversation that if the man would have just done what the cop says then the end results would not be tragic what do you think about that I I see it from both sides, and again, this might be something that a lot of people agree with or disagree with. Um, but in the shoes of the of a police officer, yeah, I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of family members that are on the force in different cities. Um, some cities in which it's kind of been hitting hard. Um, I want to say that it does kind of put a sense of fear in our officers. Um, when they see things like how we react now, um, I also see how it could um, get them reserved or make them feel like they need to be even more on edge. So even for those not so good cops, you know, to give them even more of a, a push or more of a reason to do what they're doing. Uh, and then even our good cops that are out there, because there are good cops out there. Every cop isn't a bad cop. But even for the good cops, it kind of gives them like a, a, a scared sense of, all right, I'm trying to protect you, you know, but at the same time, hold on, because now you're coming at me or I don't know if you're coming at me as the officer, you know, because of what's going on out there. Um, I think that if, if you, well, from what I've seen, if you cooperate, because sometimes, you know, you have the ones that just push away the cops, like whatever, you know, you're a cop. Da da da, you know, um, and then bad things happen. 
But then I've also seen where there have been times where they've actually done what they were supposed to do. They did what the cops told them to do, and it still resulted in negative a negative outcome. Um, so, you know, I, I don't, I can't say for sure, or I can't say that, yeah, if you follow the what they say, um, then you'll be good to go and it won't end up so negatively. But also, I feel like the best thing to do would be to follow what they say and pray for the best. Um, but, you, you, I mean, you got to trust on both ends, the officer and the person. You, you just, you got to trust, you know, trust that the officer is going to do what he's supposed to do and then trust that they respect you and, you know, when you do what they ask you to do, it, it's handled in the right way. Exactly, exactly. Well, Janice from Georgia. 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 That's what's up. Janice, everybody. <laughs> Yo, I Thanks for having me. Not a problem. Thanks for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Um Yeah, man. Just uh hopefully, you know, I, Hopefully, when people see that video, they'll see it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, when I saw it, uh, you know, I, I was kind of offended by it. More so now coming to find out that, you know, a black guy, you know, made the video. I, I thought yeah. it was made from a white guy, but, you know, it is it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, we just got to we just got to be, you know, have tough skin and and. You know, hopefully, yeah. hopefully coming up, you know, as as I teach, as I had taught my son how to come up in the world, you know, you as a, you know, you as a black mother, you know, black single mother, hope, you know, you, you're going to teach your son, you know, which, yeah, you're going to have to teach your son uh, the ways of the world. It's going to be a little tough for you, but, but I, I think you can do it. I think you could do it. You know, a mother's love is a mother's love. So I think you I think you can handle it. I, I came from a I came from a single mother, but yeah, I you know, I did my dirt, you know, back then too, you know, as a as a kid, but who hasn't, you know, who hasn't? But hopefully okay. you still got the you still got the help of, you know, help of the father that's still in the picture. That's very good. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, I didn't, but you know, you still got the, you know, the father in the picture yeah. and, you know, he'll, he'll be there every step of the way. So well, you Janice, came out good. Oh yeah. 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 I, yeah. I hear, <laughs> I, I hear the happy, I hear the happy kid in the background. Like, yeah. I got both of my parents. <laughs> so, that's I can't up. with you. I can't with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Janice, thank you for coming on tonight, and uh, I appreciate it. And if you ever want to come back on, or you know, we want to chop it up for anything or something like that, you know, let me know and we'll get it done. Cool. All right. All right. Then, well, goodbye, everybody. Jaden, say bye bye. Later, Jaden. Bye, bye. bye Jaden. <laughs> You're not gonna do it. All right, y'all, that was Janice, everybody. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, this video, the name of it is called Officer Choker. Um, it, it, it was, it's, it's a play on, on words. Uh, it shows the little kid, you know, he was at the stop sign. He had to, he had the right away to go, but as soon as he put his foot on the, on the street, the sign change and this obnoxious cop cartoon character came out of nowhere and, you know, started manhandling the kid, uh, uh, choking him, putting his hand up against his face, and all like that. He called for backup. Another 
obnoxious cop wolf, you know, cartoon cop came out with a gun, but the kid is on the ground already out. You know, the cop has his gun pointed towards the kid. And yeah, at the end of it, at the end of it, it shows the cop shooting the kid. And then it shows somebody in the background with a camera. And, um, and yeah, you know, it, 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 it touched the nerve y'all. I mean, I, like I said, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of animation and it just, it just didn't go over right with me. So, but, uh, thanks for Janice to come on, uh, come on to air with me tonight. Uh, if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me, you can do that. You can hit me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or you can get up, get at me over at um, Instagram. Yes, sir. You can hit me up at Instagram at lockoutmen. And if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this this you'll know when i go live and you'll know when i drop videos when you hit that all button all right so with that said everybody i want to say peace and blessings to everybody out there that's watching you guys have a good night and i'll come back at you guys with another video peace searching 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 and searching and searching searching